last night. What day is it? LeBron James had a 28.9% effective field goal percentage on jumpers. It's the worst of any player this postseason. The Lakers still have not figured out minutes without AD in the series. They're plus 38 with AD on the court. Plus 38. They're minus 33 when he's off the court. They're the other team when he's off the court in the first round. In game five, plus six with AD, minus 23 without him. What does this mean for the series, Key? What does it mean for the series? It just means that AD has to, number one, when it comes to AD, AD has to stay on the floor and stay healthy. When he fell down and hurt his little tailbone, I was, you know, obviously my eyes rolled and got a little mad. But if if this all goes through AD, when he's on the floor and he's doing his job, whether LeBron is on the floor with him or not, the Lakers have a better chance of of winning, which is clear. Um, He played phenomenal last night. AD did play phenomenal last night. I I would love to see him continue to play a fin- more of a finesse game than try to get down low and bang with the it, because he misses shots when he's down in the it down there trying to be you know a big old six uh, seven foot two hundred and sixty pound guy be more finesse be that guy and I think he's done it he did a good job last night in doing that. Um, Lakers will be fine, I think, back at home. LeBron, on the other hand, he looked 38 last night for whatever weird reason. I don't know if it was because the travel, you know, the minutes he logged two nights ago. I don't know what it was. But I think he'll be better at home tomorrow night. At least I think so, Jay. Okay, I can tell you why he looked 38. I mean, the the pace of the game was frenetic. It was the fastest pace that we've seen in this series. Uh, there were a couple possessions where it was fast break, fast break, fast break, fast break, fast break, fast break, fast break. I was like, damn. Like, and, and you saw Taylor Jenkins and the Memphis Grizzlies increase the tempo of the game to wear out the legs. So right now, what, what's happening, what you're seeing in real time, Key, is we're having a game every other day. Yeah. So for older teams with the travel back and forth, you factor in that from L.A. to Memphis. Now we're going back to L.A. off day game tomorrow. That's a real trip, too. Memphis is saying the faster we can make this pace is the more we can wear down the legs of LeBron James and Anthony Davis. But see, the, I think being at home, Jay, is going to help them. Well, agreed. Of, I'm just telling you. The I'm crowd, just telling, yeah. the time difference. The energy level. But the, the energy the level energy was level. very different last night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very the different level was, The energy level was all on Memphis. I want to say one thing to you, though, Jay. You know, I found another guy I cannot stand. Who? Ja. I can't stand him. I don't like him. Why? Was it the like alley him. he caught over LeBron now? I just don't. He's he just, he just doing. He's just in our way. He's just bothering me. <laughs> he doing a, he's just in the way. <laughs> Boy, doing a Like, go different. sit down somewhere, man. Like, he just, he, you know, dudes like that, he's he a smaller guy. But he plays big, you know. It's like, man, <laughs> go just sit go down sit down somewhere. <laughs> I mean, he's, like, he's just like, come on, man. Here's it's, the question. It's not here's... just Jockey. I mean, Desmond Bain's been the best player yeah. on the court but, the last oh, two De- games. No, Desmond Bain has yeah, been good shots. for him. But for some reason, it's the hair. It's the, the hair moving around. It's the I'm a dunk on you, even, even though I'm like 12 inches shorter than you. Right? I mean, it's just... I, I don't know. The, 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 the athleticism, though, like, real, real talk, just like, <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing I like it, man. It. It, it's, uh, it, it's it's D. Rose type ability, but maybe slightly better. More, more floaty. It's better? Yeah, more floaty the than The one D. he Rose. caught the other day, LeBron was backpedaling to try to get it. And I know he had a running start, but he literally caught the ball two hands over bronze, one hand. Oh, and he shoots it better than D. Rose. I, I, I mean, he's doing all this coming off the hand, Andrew. So, I, I, I hear your confidence level key, even though I, I still think the margin is slight for the Lakers at home. Oh, I never, I never said, I never said it was a, a slight margin. It, it, look, man, you know and I know when teams play at home, there's play, a certain yeah. energy level that comes with it. And when star players like LeBron James say, "I'm not having that again." That switch turns on. But this here's the question Brooks. coming this ain't up, This Dylan Key. Brooks we talking about, Jay, running Key, his mouth. Wait a minute. This we got to do some James. stuff here. But here's the question. I want you to answer on the other side. Dylan Brooks shouldn't be saying anything the way he's shooting the rock. Before I mean, we get to the calls, Dylan? 
sorry, gentlemen, but you're going to have to stop now. 888-STATE-ESPN-729-3776. Before we get to the calls, I want to know from Keyshawn Johnson and Jay Will. AD had a big game and the Lakers lost. He seems to have a big game every other day offensively. Did the Lakers just waste the big game from AD? Does this mean we could be looking at a game seven? Yes. Keyshawn, J- no. Wait until the up. Uh, yeah, we got was two a minutes until the break. No. The, t- the break was. Look, I, I still favor the Lakers at home, but I am worried that the last couple of games you've been finding Ja find his rhythm a lot more off the hand injury. Desmond Bain has been playing better. Luke Kennard is making threes, extending the floor. Malik Beasley, where is he at? Where is he on the court? So, in days that AD gets it done, you're still the legs of LeBron James. You don't expect him to be what? I think he was one of nine from the three-point line. You don't. But once again, if the tempo of the game is allowed to be maintained, where you got guys like Reeves and D'Lo playing at a frenetic pace, that's not who the Lakers are. Like, there's execution in the half court dominating you on the boards. They didn't win the boards last night. Those are things that make you concerned. Key, they're heading back to L.A. Are you concerned that having not won a big A.D. game, we could be looking at a game seven in this series? You know, I'm not I'm not concerned with that. I'm concerned with them just allowing, like Jay say, Ja, who I would prefer to go sit in a corner and have a <laughs> snow cone or something. I could sit um, somewhere. A snow cone. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm concerned with how they can control him. Because I haven't seen anybody from a defensive standpoint slow him down. Um, And each day he'll get healthier and healthier, which could be problematic. But I also know, and I believe with my heart of hearts, that Jay, you know this as an ex-athlete and and, and a superstar in your own right, that when you say you're going to do something, most likely you're going to do that. Mm. And, And when I look at LeBron James, say, hey, hold on. I know what that looked like out on the court. That's not me. That will not happen again. Don't worry about that. I got to take and be faithful in what he's saying and take that to heart because he's coming back to L.A. And the crowd will be behind him. They'll be behind the Lakers because we don't want to go back. If we go back to Memphis, we might as well just go y'all, home. Yeah, y'all go back we to Memphis. Well go, yeah, we might as well tough, go man. home. Yeah, That's we might as well go home. I agree, Key. With you. This feels game six like a LeBron game for the exact reasons you just identified. 888 say ESPN. Evan in, Evans in Georgia. You're on KJ. And Jock can get some popcorn with the snow cone, too. <laughs> just sit there. Good morning, up, brothers. How y'all doing? What's up, What's good, man? Hey, um, I heard I heard Jay was talking about in reference about uh, Coach Bud tap dancing about whether he should be fired or not. Let me let me help you out, Jay. I he wasn't got, tap dancing. Key tried to tap dance for no, me. No, I, I wasn't tap I was dancing. Trying to ta- I was trying to protect you, brother. Right. He got the goal. I mean, I think Coach Bud just don't have that if factor. I mean, Milwaukee had the easiest path to the Eastern Conference Finals, and he made no adjustments. He needs to be evaluated. He got the goal. Congratulations to the Miami Heat. I think it's going to be a fantastic series. Between the Knicks and Heat. So Evan, Evan, real uh, quick. So th- this is this is the next logical question to ask when somebody says definitively he needs to go. Who are you replacing him with? Well, that's the thing. I don't think it's a coach out there that can come to Milwaukee. Need somebody with a championship caliber. If I had to pick one, and this might be a long, long stretch. Why not Tyrone? Why, why why not uh, Coach Lou? But I know he's on the contract with the Clippers. I mean, Ty Lue would be incredible if he decides to lead the Clippers, but he is oh, on the contract. You, you, since, since you want to re, not you want to replace him, you're trying to find a coach if, in fact, Jay, they wanted to replace him, place him. Can a guy like Mark Jackson, who wants to get back into coaching, can he coach that, that personnel? He could. He could. Um I or, maybe, or maybe, or maybe, or maybe his you. time is passed. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you one that Sam would Cassell. be interesting. That I know a lot of people probably wouldn't see it though. But I think she is 